Illinois 26, Minnesota 14, and didn't see this one coming. I'll be completely honest. Uh, Parker on the Bet U.S. College Football Show did not see it coming. Uh, Illinois is a fantastic football team. Just bottom line. Like, they are uh, – Ryan, what Ryan Walters is building on that defense is just insane. The fact that Tommy DeVito played in this game blew me away. And he had the ankle injury that looked horrible last week. It, it looked like a high ankle sprain, like he was going to be out for weeks. And he's back playing in this game. Uh, three carries for 17 yards for him. He – Threw the ball 32 times, 25 out of 32, 252 yards, one touchdown. If you have a competent quarterback in Brett Bielema's offense with Barry Lunny, you're going to be pretty good. Uh, and we see what not having a competent quarterback looks like on the other side. And that's not to say anything bad about Tanner Morgan. Obviously, he went out of this game. Um, it, who knows what the situation is going to be with him going forward. But he was 4 out of 12 passing for 21 yards and one touchdown. They bring in the backup, and I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Um, I heard them say it multiple times on the broadcast. No idea. No idea. But he was two out of six for 17 yards and two interceptions. So, even worse. Uh, the only person on the team, really, that <laughs> that did anything was Mo Ibrahim, and he was 15 carries for 127 yards and one touchdown. Like, even the Illinois... Defense could not, could not stop him. Um, yeah, Bielema doing a fantastic job. 82 Atlantic said, any chance Wisconsin rehires Brett Bielema? No, Brett Bielema is a big reason why they fired Paul Christ, I believe. They hate Brett over there. They hate him. Uh, Zoom, zone 6 jumps in. It looks like a Purdue versus Illinois for the West. It really does at this point. Purdue looks like a really good team, but uh, I'll tell you, it does, it does frighten you a little bit that Nebraska was able to hang around with them. And I don't know if that had more to do with Nebraska carrying more than Purdue or if it had to do with the fact that Purdue is not a great football team. But we'll see. We'll see. When Aiden O'Connell is healthy, like that team can play with anybody in the country. Just bottom line. Uh, but as far as total yards go, Illinois, um, 472 to 180. They shut down P.J. Flex offense. Just shut it down. Uh, yards per play, 5.5 to 4.3. They just kept the ball away from them basically the entire day. It was, this was shocking, to say the least. 40 minutes time of possession for Illinois. They just sat on them. It, it, was, it was insane. Uh, Anthony jumps in over in England. Illinois were only giving up like 60 yards rushing a game. Seemed like a bad matchup for run heavy Minnesota side. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But also, Tanner Morgan had been pretty good, right? Like, pretty good so far this season. And... I thought, honestly, with Mo Ibrahim coming back from that injury, he's their best. We saw how bad Minnesota looked in the previous game trying to throw the football because they didn't have that pass-blocking help in the backfield. But when it comes to, and maybe maybe that wasn't all it was. Maybe this team just feasted on crap competition. You know, and no offense to those teams, but obviously, you 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 know when you're crap, right? <laughs> like, I think, I think we all know that. So, yeah, Illinois, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic spot. Uh, this is Illinois dominated. I, I cannot wait to keep watching this team. I don't know what they're going to look like, but they were they were great. They got guys coming back from injuries. They got all kinds of stuff, and they look fired up. They look fired up. Yeah, Ibrahim still got 8.5 yards per carry. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like They only had him. That was it. Like, where was the passing game? Where was all of the, you know, they, they could not convert when they needed to. Their success rate was not good at all. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.